Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a podcast about online learning in education. My name is Kalindu. So make sure to subscribe before we getting into the podcast. Welcome to insightful discussion on the pros, cons and limitations of online learning. With the advent of pandemic, online learning has emerged as a pivotal force in education, offering flexibility and accessibility to learners worldwide. However, it's essential to delve deeper into its interests to understand both its benefits and limitations fully. Online learning, also known as distance learning, has gained traction in recent years, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. It provides a flexible approach in approach to education allowing students to learn from anywhere anytime without the constraints of physical classrooms this transition to online platforms has facilitated collaboration between students and teachers fostering a sense of connection and community the motivation behind this project stems from the widespread adoption of online learning and transformative impact on education by dissecting its pros cons and limitations we aim to provide a comprehensive understanding of this educational paradigm shift i'm going to talk about is understanding online learning so online learning also known as e-learning or distance learning has surged into popularity particularly in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. It allows students to access educational content remotely, breaking free from the constraint of traditional brick and mortar classrooms. Through the use of digital platforms and tools, such as learning management systems and video conferencing software, learners can engage with course materials interact with instructors and collaborate with peers from any location with the internet connectivity. First topic is, is how online learning works and how to use it. Online learning operates through various platforms and technologies that facilit- facilitate remote education. Students can access lecturers, assignments and learning resources through platforms like Google Classroom, Zoom, or Moodle. These platforms offer a range of features including video lectures, interactive quizzes, discussion forums, and collaborative tools enabling students to engage with course content in diverse ways. Additionally, social media apps serve as supplementary tools for communication and collaboration among students and instructors. Next topic is types of online learning. So online learning encompasses two primary formats, synchronous and asynchronous learning. In synchronous learning, students and instructors engage in real-time interaction through video or audio chats, mirroring the traditional classroom experience. Conversely, asynchronous learning allows students to access course materials and complete, complete assignments at their own pace without the need for simulate, simultaneous participation. Both formats offer unique advantage and cater to different learning preferences and schedules. So, next topic is benefits of online learning. So there are a lot of benefits of online learning so online learning offers numerous benefits that contributes to widespread adoption and appear one of its primary advantages is flexibility allowing students to learn at their own pace and convenience this flexibility is particularly beneficial for learners with busy schedules or other commitments as it eliminates the need for rigid class schedules and allows for personalized learning experiences. 
Additionally, online learning reduces costs, costs associated with commuting, recommendation and course materials, making education more accessible and affordable for learners worldwide. Moreover, online learning enhances students' technological skills and digital literacy, preparing for them success in an increasingly digitalized world. By engaging with digital platforms and tools, students develop proficiency and proficiency in communication, collaboration and problem solving essential skills for navigating the complex styles of digital age. So next topic I'm gonna to talk about is this disadvantages of online learning. Despite its many benefits, online learning also presents several challenges and limitations. One of the most significant drawbacks in the lack of is, is the lack of physical interaction and social engagement in, in virtual learning environments. Without the face-to-face -face interaction with peers and instructors, students may experience feeling of isolation and disconnection, hindering their learning experience and social emotion development. Additionally, technical issues such as poor internet con connectivity or compatibility issues with online platforms can disrupt learning and impact student progress. Furthermore, online learning may accelerate existing in in inequalities in access to education as students from marginalized or undeserved communities may lack of necessary resources such as reliable internet access or digital devices to participate fully in online courses, online courses. This digital divide perpetuates disparities in education attainment and exacerbates social inequities in access to quality education. Next topic I'm going to talk about is limitation of online learning. So online learning face inherent limitation that pose challenges to its effectiveness and inclusivity. One significant limitation is inability to replicate hands-on or practical learning experience in virtual environments. Subjects that require laboratory work, ex experimentation, or physical demonstrations such as science or art may be challenging to teach effectively online. Without access to specialized equipment and facilities, students miss, miss out on valuable hands-on learning experiences, limiting their understanding and mastery of complex concepts. Additionally, Online learning platforms may constrain, constrain students' ability to engage in an active learning and critical thinking. Some platforms may prioritize passive consumption of content over interactive lear learning experiences, limiting students' opportunities for, for collaborations in inquiry and pro problem solving. Moreover, re remote assessments and examinations pose challenges in ensuring academic integrity and preventing cheating as students may have access to external resources or assistance during online assessments. So in conclusion, online learning has uh, developmentized education offering students unparalleled flexibility and access to wealth education resources. However, it's crucial to recognize and address the obstacles it comes with it. Challenges such as uh, limited interaction and technical difficulties need to be tackled to ensure that all learners have equal opportunities to succeed. By leveraging technology effectively, innovative in tech, tech teaching methods and fostering collaborations we can create inclusive and effective learning environments. As we navigate the ever-changing landscape of online learning, let's embrace its potential while striving to overcome the limitations. Together, 
we can work towards a future where education is accessible to all regardless of their circumstances let's con- let- let's continue to push boundaries and make online learning cornerstone of equitable education for generations to come so what do you guys think about online learning what is your opinion about online learning in education please let me know in the comment section okay everyone uh, that's it for today in my podcast i hope you guys learn something from it if you did make sure to subscribe like and comment thank you